All right, here it is. Um, DMCA takedown. I don't even know how many. I mean, there's literally hundreds of DMCA takedowns. We just got this. March 26, 2023, 532. Hello, Cloudflare received a DMCA copyright infringement complaint regarding Yahoo and the Torah.net. The information received was from the following. Reporter's name, Robert Lou Griffith. Copyright holder's name, Hallelujah Scriptures Incorporated. Hallelujah Scriptures at HallelujahScriptures.com. President, Hallelujah Scriptures Incorporated. There's their so-called telephone number. And then they say everything under my downloads, right? This is where they begin, of course, their trail of lies. And they're trying to take down the scriptures, right? They're taking to take down the word of our creator, right? So this fraudulent company that has been busted as having no orphans, widows, or lepers. The only donation place that they possibly have is a little school. And they gave them a bunch of coloring books. And hopefully they're going to be gumping them a bunch of thousands of dollars from this last grift that they had with the sisters event. But anyway, it is a complete scam. The entire company is a scam and they do not have a copyright on any of this stuff. This is all the word of our creator, right? Ezra, Daniel, all of this stuff. And they have no, they have no claim to any of this stuff. They stole their copy from the 1998 ISR, Institute for Scripture Research, the scriptures. They stole it. Now let's see what they say. We request a takedown of this website due to cop continued abuse of our copyrighted materials. This person continues to use their services to violate our copyrighted materials. He has copied all our books and offering them on his website. He has been removed from a number of hosting companies but continues to open up new accounts to continue to violate our copyrighted material. These books are on our website and belong to our organization. We have never given him or anyone permission to copy and, and offer them out, right? Our creator didn't, he didn't give his word out and let somebody merchandise it, right? These people are demons. Listen to this. We are asking you to blacklist him as he will just get another service with you. Our website is hallelujahscriptures.com. And then like Cloudflare, what they always do is they, they forward it to the, the service provider. Now, the service provider, if you want to know where this provider is, this will be very interesting if they ever are able to get this out. Because we... Or somewhere right over here. It's this little island off of, like somewhere off of Bulgaria in the Black Sea. See that right there? There's a little data center somewhere up in that thing. Somewhere on this little island. This uh, St. Ivan Island. And so, um, I don't know what language they would need to speak to actually get the server offline. But all of their, their lies and requests, their going in the trash and so that's why we pay a little bit extra because this is not how the internet works they think they have a copyright and they sent dmca.com after me but dmca.com backed off because i asked them where's the copyright and i sent them a link and i said show me the copyright never heard another peep from dmca.com so anyway this is a another failed attempt from these guys and regardless whatever happens they will never stop this project it doesn't matter if i have to find yet another island off in somewhere else saint ivan's island you know you go you'll find us there right here you go go right there in that little island deborah and the the grifters of the holy scriptures robert lou griffith and all of you people stealing money from the backs of y'all's people shame 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 now i couldn't end this video without actually putting faces to the people of this criminal enterprise now this woman is known as Shalom. She is the anti-Shalom, right? She makes the word Shalom have a bad feeling and a bad taste. Then here's her little puppet husband, Ken, who's completely complicit with all of this and knows everything that this woman is doing and is completely complicit. Then there's another puppet. Here's a little demon written by uh, Deborah, right? This is uh, a person who's supposed to be a person of our creator who's doing the works of darkness. His hands are... Filthy. His, his works, his fruits are very, very disgusting. Robert Lou Griffith, and he used to sell his music to big, um, big Christian music artists. He, he made a lot of money. He was famous. Then you have the uh, people who are allowing this to happen. You have Danit Allen Brona. She is a uh, teacher of special ed, and she married a special ed guy. Gregory Lebo Murray is a demon in a human suit. He looks like a human, 
but every single person we have even ever talked about and have talked to this guy, they say he's, a cr he's crazy. He transports marijuana. He, he traffics marijuana across the U.S. in the Postal Service. He pistol whips people. He threatens them with all sorts of crazy violence. He's always transporting marijuana across state lines like he just doesn't care. And these are the people that he, the Hallelujah Scriptures has, that these bank accounts are all in these people's name. Now, you can look under evidence downloads, and we have absolutely everything that we've been talking about. This is all of their bank statements. This is a year's worth of bank statements. You can see there are zero orphans, widows, or lepers. The entire company is a complete scam. From the, the scriptures that they stole 13 years ago to their supposed orphans, widows, or lepers, this company owns a tremendous amount of properties. They, own, they have a tremendous amount of money in their bank accounts. And this at the messianic hall of shame.org, which I will leave a link, has from chronological order of when I began this investigation, the very first one is right here. It goes one, two, three, four, all the way. Guys, there's hundreds of videos. Not hundreds, we're in the hundreds. We're over a hundred. We're like 118 or 119. Every single thing of this investigation has been right here. And it all leads and it all shows that you this company is fraudulent. They're tap dancing across the backs of y'all's people and they need to be completely stopped. Now, what I'm gonna do finally is show you guys some awesome news. Some of the actual downloads. Let's take a look at what people are downloading. What are these people really complaining about? All right, these are the downloads for this month. And there has been a tremendous amount. And I'm not gonna show you guys the numbers, but there are a ton. The numbers would only make jealous people even more jealous, if you know what I mean. So we'll leave it at that we are very close to nearing our 10,000 mark of downloads. And these are what people are downloading. This is what people are doing. The Restored Names Scriptures, the version 2, that just came out, uh, I think, the beginning of last week. And um, it has a ton of fixes, uh, lots and lots of cool stuff in there. All of this stuff is available free of charge, right? These are things that they do not own copyrights to. And there's a tremendous amount of resources. They, they claim everything under the downloads is theirs. It's none of this stuff is theirs. They do not own a copyright. If somebody says that they have a copyright, show me. Show me. I've done tremendous amount of investigations on this, and there is no copyright on any of the stuff. They poached what they have, and the reason that they cannot put out a copyright and get a copyright for this is because it, the ISR, the scriptures, is copyrighted. It is literally copyrighted. So the first time that Halley Scriptures ever tried to put out a digital version, they would get completely smoted. And so with that, guys, I want to leave this with the faces of the people of the criminal enterprise of the Hallelujah Scriptures. These are the people complicit with running a scam and using the people of the U.S. to ship things and to attack people and to basically run the hand of Satan. They, they, what they did is they, by their actions, especially the two top people right here, by their actions, they stopped Scriptures from being distributed in mass. By now, in over 13 years, if their fruits were good... They would, every single person in the world would probably have a free scriptures by now if they would have done what they said they were going to do. But what we have is we have them buying prostitutes, we have them buying property, we have them buying organics and drugs. There's all sorts of things in there. All you have to do is look under the evidence downloads. You can see this or look at any one of these videos. They're all there. They expose these criminals as they are. Guys, share this out. Let everybody know who these people are. Much love. I'm out.